Stewart, I fight for MMA clinic. I'm a record of 4 0. You know, all my life I've been fighting and I've never been main event or something. So being main event the first time is good. And being main event again is a bonus, you know? So it shows I'm on my way to the top. A fight's a fight. I'm doing it for my future. So when I'm in there, it's all about my future. Outside of the ring, we're all friends and happy family. But inside there is where my future. Um, where I've gone from there is I've learned that, you know, Every man for himself once you're in there. So no matter who you know, if there's gonna come a day you're gonna have to fight, you're gonna have to do it. You know, and then outside the ring you laugh and joke, but in there, family comes first, you know, that's what I'm doing it for. And I had a chance to go to TriStar, um, Canada, so that was great. I learned a lot of new things. It's up my level a lot, you know, they train every day, three times a day, morning, afternoon, night time, always training, so I was doing that for nearly two weeks and when I came back here to my gym I was a bit more fire, you know, a bit more stronger, fitter. Um, yeah, so that won't be part of my training camp, but I, I took a lot of knowledge from it. So I'm doing something right, keep with it, stick with it, you know. One album my opponent is um, uh, Form 1 and it's K1, that's it, French. Simple as that. <laughs> Just human being at the end of the day. It's just from a different country. From you can be from a different club, different postcode, different whatever, different planet. You know, fights a fight and get in there. You know, don't mean nothing that he's from a different country. I know you're saying maybe because they can't get me a match over here, uh, English fighters want to find me. But if I have to go abroad and go abroad, you know. Split camp promotion um, is great because um, I said it before when I was amateur. Uh, they made you feel like a pro professional, you know. Gave you interviews like a professional. Didn't know about that in my amateur days. Gave you interviews and then, you know, you know something like a big screen and, you know, your little promo videos here and there. You know, like, you're not a pro, but they make you feel someone, you know, like someone. So when you do go professional, it's not so new to you, you know, because you've kind of, till it can make you get kind of used to it, you know. There's not a big shock from going to amateur and into pro because you already kind of experienced that, okay, yeah, you've got bigger gloves and no elbows and stuff like that, but the environment they make you, they put you in, it prepares you for when you go pro. That's a good thing that Pillow Pen does. You know, as my coach says, like, you know, uh, these people are just getting away with the future. Um, I just have to look at these guys like, they're not, well, obviously I respect the guy. You have to respect everyone you fight, you know what I mean? But. Apart from this guy, I don't know who he is, but normally when I look at guys, I think, I do respect them, but at the same time, I think he's not at the level that I'm at, but I still got to show him respect, but I've got to just walk through these guys, you know, until I reach that level. When I reach that level, you know, it's game time. Last time I checked the ranking, I thought I was ranked eight, but, you know, if you people still don't know of me, unless you tell them, they'll say, okay, this guy's ranked eight, but they don't know of me, because I ain't push myself. I'm still learning how to do that, you know? Still learn how to do that, not just fighting wise, outside of the fighting as well. I had to promote myself, so I think I've got the skills, it's just about learning how to promote yourself, the techniques of how to promote yourself to get your name out there. Whoever's there, I just gotta fight them. I don't pick up people and say, oh yeah, he's next, he's next. I mean, sometimes, you know, some people might say to me, yeah, um, after this guy, you know, we'll go for him because, you know, get your name out there a bit more. But I don't really dig into it, you know, like looking to say, oh yeah, I'm gonna fight you, I'm gonna fight you. I just take it as it comes, you know?